In Activity 5, Texture, students experiment with the sense of touch by first examining and comparing the textures of various objects. Students then sort and classify objects by texture. You will need the following materials from the kit. Activity Sheet 5, Blocks, Birthday Candles, Corrugated Cardboard, Cork, Foam, Magnifiers, Marbles, Rough and Smooth Rocks, Coarse and Fine Sandpaper, Shells, Dry Sponges, Sorting Trays, Metal Samples, and a Roll of Masking Tape. You will also need to provide the chart Property Words, Felt Tip Marker, Vegetable Oil, Paper Towels, and a Roll of Wax Paper. To prepare for the activity, make a copy of Activity Sheet 5 for each student. Cut the waxed paper into 16 10 cm by 10 cm squares and rub a drop of oil onto the surface of each waxed paper square. Then make 16 masking tape rings sticky side out. Put the following objects on a sorting tray for each team of two. A block, a birthday candle, a piece of cardboard, a cork, a piece of foam, a marble, a ring of masking tape, a metal strip, either steel or brass, a rough rock, a smooth rock, a piece of coarse sandpaper, a piece of fine sandpaper, a shell, a dry sponge, an oiled wax paper square, and a paper towel for students to wipe their fingers on. Also, make sure to give each team a magnifier with their tray of objects. To begin the activity, hold up a piece of coarse sandpaper from one of the sorting trays. Ask students, what do you think this piece of sandpaper feels like? Students might describe the sandpaper as feeling scratchy or rough. Ask how could you tell for sure what this piece of sandpaper feels like? Students should say that they would need to touch the sandpaper. Have a student volunteer hold and touch the sandpaper and describe it for the class. Next, introduce the word texture to the class as how an object feels to the touch and describe texture as a property of an object. Ask students, what sense would we use to find out about texture? A student should answer that they can use touch or feeling to find out about texture. Point to the property words chart and read aloud the texture words. Then hold up a sorting tray and pass it around the classroom and ask students what it feels like. Guide the students to understand that the texture of the tray is smooth, whereas the sandpaper's texture is rough. Next, distribute a tray of items and a magnifier to each team and allow students ample time to examine the objects. Then demonstrate for the class how to use a magnifier. Hold an object in one hand and with the other hand, move the magnifier back and forth between the eyes and the object until it is in focus. Then, tell students to sort the items by texture, putting objects that feel similar together. After students have sorted the objects, ask students, how did you figure out the texture of your objects? Students should have identified the texture of the objects by feeling them. Then ask, which objects did you put together? Why? Students should have placed the objects that felt similar in the same group because if the objects felt similar, then they have a similar texture. Then, ask students to describe the objects in each of the groups. Students may describe texture groupings such as sandy, rough, sticky, smooth, scratchy, oily, and bumpy. Finally, ask students which group has the most and the fewest objects. Note that answers will vary according to the number of groups students formed. Accept all justified groupings and record new texture words on the property words chart. Next, challenge students to sort their objects into only two texture categories, such as rough and smooth, or scratchy and not scratchy. Once students have finished sorting, ask them what rules they use to sort their objects, which groups has the most objects, and which group has the fewest objects. Again, accept all reasonable answers. Finally, distribute a copy of Activity Sheet 5 to each student to complete. If necessary, identify the items on the activity sheet as a burr, a lollipop, a shell, gum and tape, a cactus and a porcupine, and finally, a lampshade and a ridged potato chip. Make sure to review responses once the students have finished their activity sheets. To conclude the activity, have students discard the tape rings, paper towels, and oiled wax paper squares and return all other materials to the kit. Remember to leave the property words chart on display. For science background, reinforcement activities, curriculum connections, and information about the science reader, please consult your DSM teacher's guide.